Set video a Japal scam France. I hope that made some sense. Um, it's been two years of me studying French and I am still <gasps> one day. Bonjour, je parle très bien français. Mais uh, maintenant, this video, if you understood what I was trying to say, I'm sorry if I didn't get it perfect, is that this video is going to be about Scam France. As I do for most series that I watch or most things I watch, because I watch a lot of stuff, um, I will first explore what is Scam, what is Scam France, why I like it and what could be improved because I don't hate it at all. Actually, with these reviews, as you've noticed from my previous videos, if you have watched them, um, I go episode by episode by episode by episode, but <sighs> I pretty much binge watched Scam France. I, I mean, I'm up to date now, but when I first got into it, I was like, there's so many episodes, I'm gonna watch it. That's the life of a fangirl. Scam is originally a Norwegian TV show. It, it feels kind of like Friends, but it's more like a drama of um, students, you know, the slice of life, whatever you call it, um, everyday happenings of uh, students. Scam itself is the Norwegian original one, but it decided to do different, you know, languages, which is great for language learners, 100%. Um, so they've got Scam Italia, they've got Scam France, they've got Druk, which is, I think is Scam Germany, and Scam Espana. So I'm sure there's more, but it falls along the same storyline. I chose Scam France in particular because if you notice from my introduction I am very poor at speaking French and the best way to learn a language is to immerse yourself with languages and no I don't live in France. Mais je parle un peu français. Uh, I was gonna say something cool but I just stopped myself. Um, yeah I don't have much uh i don't have much exposure as compared to someone who who lives in france or uh who goes to a french school or etc so i have to find my own ways like duolingo scam france uh Antestesia on youtube you know there's thousands of ways which is one of the major reasons why i suggest you watch scam it's easy to actually follow I mean, it's in the languages itself, like if it's Scam France, it is, you know, French, but you know, there's English subtitles if you need help. Um, but you know, the more you watch it, the more you understand what's happening and the more you grasp the language better, you know, but that that's for anything really. Scam France is more for pleasure than for actually education at the moment because I'm so involved in the story and the characters and once you're like involved like watching it consistently you're like yeah. Personally would you know suggest Scam France just because the actors are amazing, the storylines are amazing I just I just fell in love with Scam France but if you are learning Italian Scam Italia. Uh, I'm sure it's Italia. It sounds like Italia. Italia. Italia! A big thing about Scam as compared to, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna say as compared to other shows, um, because there is a group of students, you know, that they're basing it around. Um, each season is based around one particular student, so it's like a dip into their life and you know, their interactions with other characters, etc. Which which can be tedious, but if you really are interested in the storyline, like I'm for season three, um, then it works. You would watch it from a particular season if you wanted to, but 
honestly go from the beginning because you'll understand it a lot better. Learning languages is a big plus to this. It's just brilliant. Like, especially, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to say exactly what I said before, but you know, it's very, very, very good if you want to learn a particular language. Um, also why it is good is it's, I like things, as you probably know, I like things that are just coming out, um, you know, haven't finished, for example, uh, if a TV show has finished or is on a long break, then I'm usually iffy about it, but this one is consistent. I mean, like I said, it's up to its third season, uh, episode 10, and you know, it's consistent. It's, it's, it comes out each week. This is more bias. You, you, I just fell in love with the story of Scam France. I wouldn't call myself a Francophile. I'm a Europhile. Um, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> There's one big if I'd like to point out, and this just came up very recently, like improvements, so to speak. Um, Scam France, and I think the other ones as well, but, you know, because I'm following Scam France, Scam France comes out, um, yeah, every week. They promote it in an interesting way that they, uh, have minor, I wouldn't say, I would say spoilers, because now I kind of know the spoilers, spoiler, um, of clips from the next episode and I don't know how I don't know if it worked in previous seasons like season one and two but especially in season three I warn you that if you watch all the clips especially if you watch them in order and then when it gets to the actual episode day it's just a combination of all the clips that's the only thing that I find really frustrating because I mean it's great and it's not great so like it would be great if there's more seasons I think Scam has already finished like the original Scam has finished its seasons and I think I was told there's five seasons or four five five or four I don't know but there's there's um there's a set amount of seasons because it's finished so Scam France is following it Closely. Most importantly, even if you watch Scam France and Scam Italia, they're the same storylines, they're just different character names and different, yeah, different character names. I'll post some links of places where you can like follow what's up with Scam France, but give it a go and just try. Ciao for now.